for centuries. Protected by the Dalai Lama, Tibet lay hidden, a land of peace in the clouds. Control is there anywhere you want to go? You're in control, is there anything you want to know? The future's for discovering, the space in which we travel in.
I have to apologize, Smith's Hill. I called you Smith's High School, and it's yeah. got nothing to do with the potato chip or anything. It's you had you Smith's on a plane, Hill. not a mountain. I'm sorry, Smith's Hill. I really yeah. am. Never mind. Now, guys, just before we get your buddies out here from Smith's Hill, uh, we're going to hear from. We're going to introduce you to Imogen Ross, who graduated from Whopper in 1993. Her design credits include a whole host of productions for a variety of well-known theatres in Sydney, Melbourne, and London. Since returning, Imogen has designed costumes for many shows, helped develop an online drama course at Macquarie University, and designed two tours for Monkey Bar Theatre for Young People. Imogen also designed the Royal Easter Show Shape Parade Catwalks in 2005 and 2006, and has co-written a book on performance design in Australia. Please welcome Imogen Ross. Fantastic. Now, a bit more about this great performance by Smith Hill. So, Ellen, can you let us know who your student reps are? Hey, I'd like to introduce to you Kathleen, Cheryl, Kaylee, and Brendan. Wow. Beautiful colours in those costumes. Fantastic. Costumes. Now, we're going to hear what um, Jason thought of Smith Hill. Well, Smith Hill High School, thank you so much for that. It, it was a, that was a passionate, touching, dramatically engaging, visually captivating piece. I mean, not only did you deliver us, absolutely. Not only did you deliver a spectacle, you, you presented us with a finely balanced, politically uh, and socially aware, artistically challenging, uh, sumptuous feast. As a director, it's, it's always so exciting to see an, uh, an ensemble who are so focused and, and committed and have made strong acting choices. Uh, it was wonderful to see, and because of this, uh, your performance has absolutely soared off the stage. The design was uh, quite incredible. Every time uh, you know a new piece of set was revealed or, or costume was revealed, it was like almost you were using it as dramatic exposition. I, I thought that was so clever. Uh, and certainly you surprised us with the fantastic use of the, the flags. There was uh, great clarity in the storytelling, uh, affecting characterization by the young man playing the Dalai Lama, just lovely. I thought the soundtrack supported, supported your dramatic choices and it married beautifully with the physical life of the piece. Uh, Smith's Hill, that was a beautiful, thought-provoking, heartfelt message. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Jason. And we'd also like to hear from Ramon. Hi, Smith High, High School. That was a mesmerizing and a powerful performance and very precise interpretation of the Tibetan, Tibetan monks and the Dalai Lama. And you did it with dignity and seamless. It's a fantastic ensemble of dancers, set designers, costume, lights, and set changes. You guys deliver the whole performance with passion and excellent use of sets, music, and of course choreography, which is true to the story. I really like the opening section. The, it's quite spiritual. The monk praying sequence is so believable. I love the choice of your music and choice of your choreography. I particularly love the monk choreography that was so strong and powerful. The costuming are amazing. It's so traditional and it's spectacular and visually stunning. I love the colors. The shadow effect is gripping and brilliantly done. The changes in sets and lights is amazing. What a moving performance and interpretation. Good one. Thank you, Ramon. Okay, it's now time to cross over to these wonderful, wonderful students from Smith's Hill High School. Question one for you guys is, what were some of the difficulties you had doing this theme? Um, well, obviously, with having such a complex yet interesting theme, we did have some complications. Um, choosing the mu music was really difficult, and also because of the nature of the Tibetan culture, we really had to focus on our choreography. And personally, as a choreographer, I think the hardest part was teaching 30 guys to dance. But I think by looking at that monk scene, they really pulled it off. 
Fantastic. Actually, I want to I get to that. Let's pass the microphone down to the end to our friend down there.